Hey everybody, I'm Dave with AmericanMuscle.com and I'm here today with stage one of our project car, Grabber Boost. It's our 2006 Mustang GT. Now, as you may or may not have heard, we're switching things up a little bit. We're gonna bring you not one, but two builds at the same time. We're gonna bring you two awesome street machines. Well, I'm here with the 06 GT, Justin sneaking around with our 14 GT, Project Coyote. At the end, we're gonna bring these two cars together and battle it out at the drag strip at the completion of each build. We're gonna do something we've never done before. We're gonna assemble two teams of Mustang experts, actual AmericanMuscle.com employees, to help Justin and I choose what parts go on the car and help us install them. We already got our baseline dyno run and stock quarter mile times. Power wise, our three valve put down 278 horsepower and 291 foot pounds on our dyno. Now at the drag strip, we got a best run of 14 seconds and 103 miles an hour. Okay, obviously we're in for a bit of a challenge here. We know this. Our 06 GT stock for stock does not come anywhere near the power of the 14. But with all the aftermarket parts available for the 4.6, my team and I are quite confident we're gonna make Project Grabber Boost a contender. Like you've seen in other project builds, we like to go ahead and get the exterior stuff and some of our smaller performance parts done in stage one before we move on to some more heavy mods. And trust me, they're coming. In this stage, when we wrap it up, we're gonna put the car back on the rollers one more time and see what kind of horsepower we picked up. Then we're going to go to the quarter mile track and see how much our time's gone down, and maybe more importantly, see how this car stacks up against our 14. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get this started. To get things going, we're going to start with an appearance overhaul on our 06 GT. First thing we had to start with is getting rid of those stock ugly wheels. Now, the team decided to go with the silver AMRs wrapped in Mickey Thompson Street Comp tire. Mike, you were one of the guys that picked this, right? What was your thought behind it? We thought it would be a great fit for the car. We went with a 19 by 10 in the rear with a 285 and a 19 by 8.5 in the front with a 255. Um, the AMRs have been a really popular wheel since their launch. They look great on the S197, so they thought that would be a good look. I mean, I definitely agree. In fact, I think it offsets the caliper cover pretty nicely as well. Absolutely. Threw in the caliper covers from MGP as a little touch just to finish off the wheel look. And more importantly, we went with the Mickey Thompson tires to give us the traction and the track that we needed to get us out of the hole. And they're also a really good street tire, which are going to help us in the corners as well. I completely agree. Great package, great choice. All right, the next part up on this has us really, really excited. And I think it's going to have a lot of you 05 to 09 owners excited as well. It's Raxxon's Gen 5 taillights fitting all 05 to 09 Mustangs. I, Steph, I mean, I really think they look great on here. What do you think? These taillights look awesome. They have a very aggressive look. They really do. Uh, they've got the modern styling. Uh, they have the full LED lights. They even have the built-in sequential turn signals. Very sleek look. These are great. To finish off the back of the car, we're going to go ahead and take off the stock spoiler in favor of an American Muscle pre-painted GT500 one. The guys at MMD have come up with some new and interesting parts for this build. Of course, we have our favorite classics like our pre-painted side scoop and our quarter window covers, but it's what's going on up front that I really want to show you. These functional matte black hood scoops are the latest creation from MMD. They draw a heavy inspiration from the 13, 14 hoods, but they're made specifically to fit in their 06 project car. They require just a little bit of cutting and they are well worth it, especially when you see how they line up with our smoked headlights and fog lights along with the new aggressive chin spoiler. It completely changes the front end of our project car. All right, we know if we have any shot at beating the 14, we're gonna have to pull out all the stops. But before we get to some of the bigger mods, we've gotta get some of the basic bolt-ons on the car to pave the way for those other modifications. Up front we have Mike and Andy wrapping up the SR Performance 62mm throttle body and colder intake hit combo. And in Andy's hand there is the SR Performance oil separator. Why do we want that on the car, Andy? Can you tell us? Well, this is going to catch all the oily vapors and residue that travel into the intake manifold. This is going to help with the bolt-ons that we have right now. And it's going to help with the bolt-ons that we have coming up for Grabber Boost. All right, aside from the mods under the hood, we're gonna go ahead and give this car some Magnaflow's axle back chambered mufflers to give it a little bit more grunt around town. Once we get work in our four, six and later stages though, these are really gonna make our car scream. 
With the mufflers already on the car and the guys all wrapped up under the hood, we've got Steph inside loading up a custom tune. The custom tune that we have from Bama is really going to wake up our three valve. It's also really going to help us make the most out of all the modifications that we've done here today. What the tune is going to do is it's going to adjust our air fuel ratio. It's going to change our variable cam timing and our spark timing. The results on the dyno are going to be awesome. Oh, they, no, they, they definitely will be. A tune really is one of the best modifications any Mustang owner can do for their car. I completely agree with Steph, it really is. Is ours all loaded up? Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, well, we're going to pull the car down off the, the lift and make some dyno runs, see what kind of horsepower numbers we picked up. So again, our baseline run on Grabber Boost gave us 278 horsepower and 291 foot-pounds of torque. With our Stage 1 parts installed, we put down 292 horsepower and 307 foot-pounds of torque, giving us a peak horsepower gain of 14 and curve gains of 19 horsepower and 17 foot-pounds of torque. With our GT looking good and sporting a much-needed power increase, my team and I are going to head to the track and meet up with Project Coyote team to see where we stand against their 14 and to try and get our car out of the 14s. All right, so we're down here at Cecil County Raceway at the end of stage one to see how Project Cody and Project Grabber Boost are going to make out. And Dave, I have to say, man, the car looks awesome. Uh, thank you. And as does yours. I really like, uh, I just like everything you've done. What's your plan for your car? Well, you know, at the end of uh, this stage, we're hoping mid to low 12s after stage one, but okay. we'll see. How about you guys? Oh, uh, no, we're hoping to knock a few tents off as well. We're hoping to get down out of the 14s for sure. Same thing. Good, clean passes. Right. So obviously no surprises here. We're expecting, um, you know, Project Cody to do a little better than you guys for now. Yeah, for But now. with your name, grab or boost, we know what's coming. What? <laughs> Nothing coming. Well, hey, if anything, I like the color. Oh, thank you. Nice yeah, yeah, this is a good choice. Well, hey, let's get to it. I want to see how these things run. All right, man, let's get Best to the line. Best of luck to you guys. Right to you as well. Hey, we finished our runs here tonight, got some real good track time in. The 06 Project Grabber Boost, we started out of the 14-0 and tonight knocked off a full half second and got us a 13-5. Hey, and you guys did pretty well tonight too? We did, we did, Dave. Not quite as good as you guys. We started out as a 12-9, bone stock with our 14, respectable for a stock car. Dropped that down four tenths tonight to a 12-5, so car is feeling good. I think we're gonna get ready for the big showdown now. It's that time. It's coming up next. Well, hey, look, stay tuned as we continue with Project Grabber Boost to hit onto our stage two. And stay tuned for stage two of Project Coyote coming at you very soon. Shop time? Out? Shop time it is. All Let's right. get out of here.